What's up guys? Figured to come out and do a little delayed harvest fishing. Uh, stock has been a little bit weird this year, so I'm just out kind of trying to find fish for guide trips later on. So I got an hour and a half, two hours maybe, a shooting light left, so I'm gonna have to make it quick. Um, thought I'd do a little check nymphing or euro nymphing with you, try to teach you something new, rather than the same old dry dropper like I always do. Sage, this is the ESN. I got a 10 foot three weight. I've got a Hardy, this is the Ultralight 3000 CC. It's just a click, click drag reel. We're not getting fish out here that are so big that we need a drag system, so the click is fine. I like it because it's really light. Um, on that, I've got the Rio Euro Nymph line. It's a flat line, it's not tapered, so you're not going to be out throwing these real pretty tight loops with it. It's made specifically for this style of fishing. You can cast a dry fly or a dry dropper on it, but it's not gonna be nearly as good as like a, a double taper or a weight forward line. My leader, which I talked about a little bit, I'll show you. This is the Euro Nymph Leader. It's got the cider material built into it. And then, I know you can't see that, but it's got a tippet ring tied on the end of your cider. And on that tippet ring, I tie about that much. <laughs> I don't know what that is, like 30 inches or so of 6X tippet. I just tie your just a clinch knot to that tippet ring. And then, on the end of that, I tie about a I don't know, an 18 to 20 inch section of 6X with a triple surgeon's knot. And just like on my dry fly, or my uh, dry dropper that I've used in my other videos, leave that tag long, tie your first fly, which in this case is a little size 16 Rainbow Warrior. Then on the bottom is your dropper. This is called your point fly, this is your dropper. So that's my line and leader. That's my setup. Uh, you'll find a lot of guys have different ways to do it, just like everything else. It's all about preference. You just kind of got to find what works for you. And I don't recommend, if you're just getting into this, to go out and buy. This is a $900 plus dollar rod. I think it's $950, close to $1,000. Don't recommend you go do that for obvious reasons. But what I do recommend. This is the rod I started with when I got into Euro Nymph, and this is a Cortland. This is the competition nymph, it's 10 foot three, just like the, the ESN is. It's not as light, it's not as sensitive. The wraps are not as nice, you know, it's not as pretty, but it just still catches fish. Great rod for the money. I, I don't know, even know what they're, they go for now, 250, 300 bucks, something like that. But, like I say, for the money, they're really hard to beat. Another one I would look at are the Syndicates, which they sell at the uh, River's Edge in Cherokee. Go check them out. Now, if you don't want to buy the Euro Nymph Leader from Rio, that's no problem. You can build your own, and that's what most guys do. I used to use a, on that Cortland rod, I used a, uh, it's a Maxima Chameleon. It's a monofilament. It's a brown color. It's knotted, I tie sections. That gives it mass, helps you turn over your flies a little easier. Uh, some guys just get a piece of OX. It's a 0X heavy monofilament. And they'll run however long they want, you know, 10 foot, nine, eight, whatever you want. And then your cider material. And then just like I talked about, your, your 6X tippet. For tippet, I would recommend Trout Hunter. This is, I think, some of the best stuff on the market. Gotta have fluorocarbon. You do not want to use nylon or mono when you're nymphing because mono floats and you're gonna have a really hard time getting those little bugs down. So 
This stuff is kind of pricey, but it's really good stuff. It's a trout hunter that you can get it in 6X, 6.5X, 7, 7.5X. It's one of the only companies I know of that offers half sizes, which is pretty cool. Um, if you're building your own leader, not getting the Euro leader, you can buy this Umqua. This is actually cider material. So it's got red and orange. You just cut your piece off of that and tie it into your leader. And this is the 2X. I think you can get an OX too. This is just a little lighter. Um, the other tip that I would recommend, and I'm not sure if it's out on the market yet. I don't know if it's available to the public, but this Cortland Top Secret, this stuff is awesome. It's thinner diameter than most of the other tippets on the market and it's stronger than most of the other tippets on the market. I've been really impressed with it so far. So. I don't know if you can hear me or not. We're doing some Czech nymphing today, Euro nymphing. Been around for a long time. Just now gaining some popularity. A lot of the Team USA guys are bringing it back from overseas. And basically what it is, it's a style of nymphing. I've got a tandem nymph rig, so I've got two nymphs on right now. And there's no cider, or there's no indicator. So, I don't know if you can see or not, on my leader I've got a, it's a piece of monofilament. It's brightly colored, it's pink and green, and that's a, it's, we call it a cider material. And basically all we're doing is making short cast, long rod, making a drift, watching that cider staying tight to our flies. And if that cider twitches or stops or anything, you set the hook on them takes a lot of focus you really got to pay attention to what you're doing but it's super effective technique I just got bit right there missed him so I don't know if you notice here whenever I, I'm making my drift stand tight to my flies following them down be careful not to drag them just stay ahead of them keep your cider ahead of, or downstream of your flies just Follow them down, do not drag them. It makes it look unnatural. You get, your flies won't be down on the bottom where they're supposed to be. They're gonna be up. And when you get to the end of your drift, you do a little hook set. And what that's doing two things. A lot of times you'll have, you'll actually have a fish there and you'll hook him that you didn't even know about. And also, it's getting your flies, you're getting your line, your leader, everything behind you and getting ready for your next cast. So I'm fishing this, it's a little bit deeper of a pool and I've got really light flies, no split shot. So I'm using a tuck cast to get my flies down. And basically you just wanna kinda cast up, stop your rod tip high and what that does is it shoots your flies down at an angle and gets them down quicker. So just kinda act like you're casting up at the trees and just stop your rod tip your flies will shoot down and hit the water before your leader does. The reason this particular style of nymphing is so effective is because you can fish so many different types of water with it without having to change. Different types of flies, you can fish a dry dropper, two nymphs, you can adjust your depth on the fly, no pun intended, without changing any of your rigging. All you gotta do is change your rod angle. There's one. It's on the Rainbow Warrior. Woo. 
Do a little acrobatics. Get him around these rocks. Come on, buddy. Get out of there. Well, got my brown. There's my rainbow. All I need is a brook trout and I'll have the slam. Another thing I tell clients, you set the hook on everything. Everything. Most people, they, they get kind of jaded after getting stuck on rocks and stuff all day and they stop setting the hook. And then they start missing fish. Hook sets don't cost anything, they're free. You set them on everything, just like that. Because you never know what's going to be a fish. And then we got, got us another little rainbow on, it looks like. So when you get a fish on, you don't want to just horse them into the net because you're on such light line. You give him side pressure to get his head turned towards you. Puts a little more pressure on him. Got rocks in between me and him. It's making it a little hard, but as soon as you get him close enough, then you lift your rod up, flop him in the net. Another one on the Rainbow Warrior. Nice fish. Could be one in this little eddy right here. There he is. What I say. The rainbow. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you want to know about different Euro style flies, all these flies that I'm using, go check out my buddy Gordon's YouTube page. It's uh, Turning Stones Fly Fishing. He ties all kinds of great patterns, shows you how to tie it. And uh, I mean, they're the patterns that 
the uh, comp guys are using to win their competitions. So most of them are super easy to tie, very effective. My favorite kind. So check him out. Go check out River's Edge. Get you a fly rod. And remember, like I always say, you can't catch them from the couch. So get out and go get them. Oh, <laughs>